right, hey everybody, Mayo here, and today we're playing some Pokemon, doing that VGC 2016 International Challenge, and it's January in the Masters Division. So we have our opponent from Mexico with a rating of 1470, and the rating is different for the uh, International Challenge compared to the actual, like, Battle Spot, Special Battle Spot rating. <coughs> Excuse me, so let's see here. Our opponent has Venusaur, Landorus, Groudon, Meowstic. I love seeing Meowstic. Sableye and Xerneas. Um, so what do I want to do here against that team? Uh, does he have any potential fakeouts? He does have two potential fakeouts. So I think I want to lead with possibly Smeargle and hmm, Smeargle and Groudon. Maybe Smeargle and Salamance. Let's see, I want to lead with Smeargle. How about Smeargle, Groudon, bring... I want to bring Xerneas. I want to bring Xerneas. I think I do. <coughs> no, I want to bring Ferrothorn. Actually, let's do... Let's do Smeargle, Ferrothorn, Groudon, and Salamence. do that. Yeah. Let's do that. Hopefully we can do alright. Uh, my daughter is sleeping right now, so hopefully she doesn't wake up from her little nap while I try and get some wins going on. He leaves with Landorus and Groudon? Okay. Alright, that works. That works. <coughs> um, what can I do here? You can see Intimidate off. Um, let's see. I'd like to go for a Dark Void. I have a Focus Sash, I can go for a Dark Void. Groudon, Desolate Lands. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do here is I think I'm going to go for Dark Void. Then I think I'm going to switch my Ferrothorn out into Salamance, get the Intimidate off. I don't know if it's a special Groudon, physical Groudon, what, I'm not entirely sure. I think special is more common right now though. So we are going to get the Intimidate off onto the Landorus though, so that could be... Ooh, he goes for a Rock Slide, I was not expecting that, I was expecting like a Super Power into the Smeargle spot. Dark Void. Yeah, it looks like it connects with both of his po- nope, Groudon avoided it, dang. I was really hoping Groudon would... That's like the, the main one that I wanted to uh, get hit with a Dark Void. Okay, but we are faster. We are faster than Groudon. Communication with the other trainer was interrupted. Oh no, I think he may have disconnected. Uh, yeah, it wasn't our end. So let's continue battling. Um, I think that counts as a win. I'm not entirely sure when it comes to the international challenge. Probably didn't want to deal with Dark Void spam from the Smeargle. That's probably what I was going to have to do there. So we have our opponent from Denmark with a rating of 1516. This will be interesting. Um, looks like he's running more of a... I want to say a Rain team, but then again I see the Groudon, so... <coughs> rain and Sun um, with Mega Swamper and then a Victory Bell probably with Chlorophyll or something. So let's see here. What can I do? What can I do? Uh, any fake out potential... Not that I'm aware of, so I can lead Smeargle. Go for that Dark Void. Um, then I can lead... I want to bring Ferrothorn. Do I want to lead with Ferrothorn? Smeargle, Ferrothorn. Smeargle, Xerneas. Um, Smeargle, Ferrothorn. Groudon and Salamance. Same, same thing that I just did. I think that'll be okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Still getting over from being sick, so sorry about that, guys. I just had to bear with me for a bit. So let's see here. I lead with Smeargle Ferrothorn. Our opponent is going to lead with Groudon and Victory Bell. Okay, that works out pretty well. Um, not as well as I was hoping for. Um, I can Dark Void and... Hmm, I'm gonna Dark Void. I'm gonna switch Ferrothorn out, though. 
I mean, I really want to get like a power whip on the Groudon. But I think Dark Void. And then I think switching out into Salamance makes the most sense. And that's, that's basically what I did last time, and I think it still makes the most sense here. Then we get the Intimidate off onto the Groudon, so the Perceptual Blades won't hit as hard, but I mean, it'll still hurt. Uh, he protects with his Groudon. Victory Bell used Leaf Blade into Smeargle. Not enough to knock us out. Opposing Groudon protected itself, Victory and Victory Bell avoids it. Uh-oh. Uh oh, that was that was problematic. Um. So what can we do here? We are definitely slower, so I might switch Smeargle's Focus Sash out for something like a a Choice Scarf. Um, I think go for a Spiky Shield and go for a Mega Hyper Voice, probably. Probably. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. <clears throat> I think that I think that'll be okay. I'm trying to figure out what I need to do because I think Victory Bell has chlorophyll, so I think it's gonna be real fast in the sun. So I think I need to protect my Smeargle here. Leaf Blade Smeargle protected itself. Okay, there we go. Salamance goes for a Hyper Voice. It should be super effective against that thing. Should take it out. Okay, there we go. Take out the Victory Bell. Because Hyper Voice becomes a flying type move now, and then there's a Rock Slide. Smeargle protected itself. Um, that may KO. I don't think that'll KO Salamance. I really don't think it will. Super effective. It doesn't do much damage though. Because we have the Intimidate off on him, so that may have helped out quite a bit. And there's a Noivern. Um, I can try and go for a Dark Void here. I, I don't think I'll be able to get it off. And then I can go for a Noivern. What typing is Noivern? The dragon typing? I think it is. I'm checking. Uh, I'm checking. Okay. But yeah, let's Draco Medi. Actually, should we switch? Did I bring? I don't think. Okay, I don't think I brought Xerneas. So, Draco Meteor, Noivern. Groudon used Protect. <coughs> Groudon protected itself, Noivern goes for a Dragon Pulse, that may KO my... My Salamance, and it does, unfortunately. Uh, but I did go for a Dark Void, so I may get the Noivern put to sleep. find out. Groudon protected itself, and Noivern is put to sleep good. That works out pretty well for me. Um, I can bring in my Groudon here. I can Spiky Shield and Perceptual Blades, or I can Dark Void and Perceptual Blades. I think I'm going to go for Dark Void again in case he switches Noivern out. Let's go for Dark Void and Perceptual Blades. And let's see here, what can we do after that? Alright, so the Dark Void got off, we did get the sleep put onto the Groudon, but then our Perceptual Blades came out and we were able to knock out... <coughs> excuse me, we were able to knock out the... the uh, Groudon. 
Uh, let's see here. Primordial C. So I'm going to switch my Groudon out. That way, when I switch my Groudon back in, I will have access to... Hmm. Let's see. Do I want to transform? Put it on a spiky shield. Let's go for... Let's go for Dark Void, and then let's switch Groudon out for Ferrothorn here. I don't think Dark Void was the best option, but it may be useful. We'll find out. Noivern is still fast asleep. Noivern should be waking up next turn, though, I think. So then we get the Dark Void off. Let's find out if it connects with... Okay, it does. That's good. is fast asleep so I want to transform into um let's transform into Kyogre and then let's go for a power whip onto the Kyogre spot as well because so everyone's gonna wake up he's gonna dragon pulse um, I would assume he's taken out the Smeargle but no he goes for a Feral Thorn instead that works out just fine for me. Then I'm going to be able to transform into Kyogre. Oh, Kyogre woke up. I did not expect Kyogre to wake up the first turn. Okay, they, they both hang on, so that works out really well. Kyogre avoids the power whip. Oh, no. Um, get Thunder on that. On um, that Noivern. That, that'll work. And then we can... Hmm. I'm gonna protect here the Ferrothorn. Because Ferrothorn's the bigger threat. <coughs> oh, there's a doorbell. Dog's barking. He goes for, I think, another Origin Pulse. Yeah, that's gonna take out my Smeargle. Okay. Hopefully my daughter didn't wake up from that. Uh, we can send Groudon out here, though. And then I can go for an... I'm gonna go for an Eruption and a Power Whip. Yeah, I'm gonna go for an Eruption and a Power Whip into the Kyogre. Let's see if this will work. Trying to listen to see if I hear my daughter waking up or not. And all that noise that was made. Uh, Dragon Pulse, probably under the Ferrothorn. Not enough to KO. Kyogre goes for a Thunder. Ferrothorn avoids it. Great. That allows me to get this eruption off. And hopefully, Power Whip connects. <clears throat> Power Whip looks like it's connecting. And it's enough to take out Kyogre. So then I can just double target into the Noivern spot, and I should be able to win. I'll just go for a Thunder Punch and a Gyro Ball. Dragon Pulse probably knocking out my Ferrothorn, because why not? And then I went for a Thunder Punch. And that should KO Noivern, as it does. Alright, so we defeated that opponent. Um, let's see here, we can go ahead and save that. I've been trying to remember to save my battle videos from the International Challenge. Battle was saved. So. I think we're still technically undefeated right now, but that's probably going to change here soon, so let's do one more. I've been trying to keep it at about three, but one of them was a disconnect, unfortunately, on my opponent's end. We we're sitting at four wins, zero losses, 15-58 rating, so I think we're doing pretty well for the international town. So we have our opponent from Illinois with a rating of 1546. so... This may be a bit difficult. Alright, what does he have here? He has a Groudon, Xerneas, Salamance, Mr. Mime, Talonflame, and a Moongus. 
what can I do here? I am assuming he is going to set up a... Alright, so there's, there's a couple possibilities that he could do here. He could lead with the Xerneas Amoongus lead. I've done that before. It's really annoying. Um, so if he does that, I want to lead with Salamance. That way I have like a, a good hitting move and I want to lead with Ferrothorn as well. Then I want to bring my Groudon. And I think I want to bring my Xerneas instead of my Smeargle this time. Maybe my Cresselia. Maybe Cresselia. Xerneas or Cresselia. Or even Smear. I mean, all three I think should be fine. Cresselia, well he has potential to set up a Hail win, so I want a potential to set up a trick room. Yes, I think? Or do I want to do- yeah, let's just do that. Let's just do that. I'm not gonna think too much about it. Alright. Our opponent is going to lead with... Let's see if we were correct with assuming it would be the... The, um... Oh, it's Talonflame Xerneas, so we were close. We were close. Salamence and Ferrothorn. But what I can do here is. Hmm. He could go for a. This is real tricky, because what I want to do here is I want to Mega and go for like a double edge into the Xerneas for sure. And then Talonflame could either set up a Tailwind or he could just target my Ferrothorn. If he targets my Ferrothorn, I want to switch into my Groudon. If he target, hmm, actually, I could switch into Cresselia, and then if he target, yeah, let's do that. Because if he goes for Tailwind, I can just set up Trick Room. <laughs> yeah, let, let's try that. Not the greatest for me right now, but I think it'll be okay. I mean, he could protect Tailwind. He could Geomancy Tailwind. Overheat, there's the the fire type move that I expected. So I don't think it'll do much to my Cresselia. Alright, there we go. He does go for a Geomancy. And what we're gonna do next turn is we are gonna set up Trick Room. Because then we'll have that Xerneas. Essentially, since it's so fast now, it'll be slow. Because <clears throat> I think next turn I want to protect. Salamance and Trick Room Cresselia. Right, Double Edge does a good amount of damage to that Xerneas. So let's go ahead and go for that Protect now. And then a Trick Room. Yes. And then I can switch out my Salamance. Or uh, we should have a mental herb on this Cresselia. If we don't, then that's gonna be bad. Okay, I was gonna say, if I forgot to put an item on it, then that would be just horrible. So we get the Trick Room off. That means I can double edge again into the Xerneas spot, and it'll definitely KO. Or I can Hyper Voice. An ice beam and it might KO, but I don't know if it will. So I think double edge the Xerneas. And well actually no, let's helping hand hyper voice. Let's do that instead. Hyper voice. And um are we gonna get taunted again though? We might get taunted again. But it shouldn't matter because we should be faster. So let's helping hand Salamance, right? Right, I think that's how it works. Send out a Moongus. Okay, we went for a Hyper Voice. This is this is great. We went for a Helping Hand boosted Hyper Voice. Xerneas protected. That's fine. You're 100% okay with that. Because then we're going to take out that Amoongus. Xerneas is nice and low. So he has 
a Lozernius, a Talonflame, and something else. And we still have a couple more turns of Trick Room. He was probably thinking, send out Amoongus, it's in Trick Room, he'll be able to spore things real quick. Makes sense. Alright, so what are we going to do here? We're going to Helping Hand Hyper Voice again, I think. I have my Groudon to deal with the Talonflame, and my Ferrothorn as well. Uh, is this really what I want to do? Do I want a Helping Hand Hyper Voice? Hyper Voice. Yeah, I do. I do. Helping Hand Salamance. Because Perceptual Blades can't hit us, so I'm not worried about that. He could potentially Rock Slide. He could potentially... And I think, based on what I saw previously, my Salamance should be able to live a Rock Slide. And it does. But it flinches! No! No! That flinch. Oh man, that was... That was pretty big. That was brutal. We, st we can Trick Room. We have Trick Room still, so... We can... Um, let's see here. What can we do? What can we do? What would be the best option? I don't really want to double into the Groudon. Well, no, actually, what I'm going to do is I am going to essentially double into the Groudon. I'm going to go for a Perceptual Blades and a Power Whip into the Groudon spot. Because Perceptual Blades will be enough to take out the Xerneas. Alright. So let's do that. Perceptual Blades and Power Whip into the Groudon spot. He withdrew Groudon. That makes sense. That makes sense. Xerneas used Protect. But we are going to get some, some damage off onto that Talonflame. Uh, I'm going to go for Perceptual Blades again. I don't see a reason not to. I really don't. And I suppose... Hmm. Actually, should I Eruption? Yeah, let's Eruption. Let's Eruption and Protect. Let's do that. Journey is a bit of a fail. Brave Bird. Into the Groudon spot. Bit of a problem. Eruption. Not enough to take out the Talon Flame. Oh, I think my Trick Room is going to end too now. Yeah, I returned to normal. Dang. Sent out Groudon. So, what I have to do is he's going to Brave Bird. He's going to Brave Bird. Again. Yeah? Or is he going to overheat? Um, let's just go for Perceptual Blades and I suppose a Power Whip into the Groudon spot. I'm not sure. I think I lost. There's the overheat. Barrowthorn definitely getting taken out. Um. Let's see what happens here, because if I'm able to knock out his Groudon, Closing Groudon needs Perceptual Blades, it connects. Okay, so we're going to lose. Yep, there it is. So unfortunately, we lost, but we almost were able to make that through. If my Salamance didn't flinch, I think I would have been able to, to win. But that was a good play by my opponent. Going for the Rock Slide. That flinch. Man. We'll save the battle video. And we will probably end it there because we're at 24 minutes now. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, go to that like button, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, all that good stuff. It really does help me out when you guys do that and I really do appreciate it. So thanks again and goodbye friends.